Hi everyone. Um, today I'm colouring in Johanna Basford's Worlds of Wonder and under the um, French flap here on the cover there is this lovely repeating pattern which I thought I would have a go at some of the smaller items in here. So I'm going to just zoom in for you. I think we'll start with this one. I think this is quite interesting. Now this is a sort of building on a boat on the sea. I thought it would be a fun one to do. I'm going to be using my Stedler Ergosoft pencils just because they're nice and hard and they work well um, on this. We, when I did these pictures on the flap they worked really well so I thought they would work well for these as well and they're quite they sharpen well to get into the smaller spaces. So I'm going to start off with the boat bit and number 73 and I'm just going to do a an even colour across the boat to start with. There's a sort of base and then we're going to add a little bit of shading and some texture because it's obviously wood and uh, it looks quite choppy this sea doesn't it? I'm not sure what that hole is there. What's that? Hmm. I don't know. I don't think it's a window, so I'm not sure. I'm just getting a fair bit of colour down. So I sort of go over it a couple of times. I'm using my pencil on the side to get a nice even covering. Okay, let's pop that there. Now the next brown I'm going to go in with is the number 76, which is the darker brown. I'm going to go all the way over the top of this, but really lightly, so we get some of the warmer brown colour showing through, but we darken it up a bit because I, don't, I think that's a bit pale for wood. So again, I'm using my pencil on the side, and I'm also purposely colouring in the direction that the wood would be where um, Johanna's drawn these lines. So the next thing we're going to do, we're going to keep this colour and we're going to emphasise these lines to start with. And we're going to put some of our own in as well. So just little tiny lines all the way across. Now if you don't have Ergosoft, you want a hard, very sharp pencil for this. Um, something like a Prismacolor very thin or if you've got polychromos just sharpen them well that, that'll work just as well there we go so we've got that and then I'm going to use my even darker brown which is 77 now I'm also going to think a little bit here about the shading so down here at the bottom it's going to be a little bit darker I think and along the edge of the wave here, or water. So I'm just going to fill that in just a tad and then do some more little lines. It's not sharp enough on that end there is better. Sometimes you have to turn the pencil to find the sharpest point. That's, that's the boat part done, I think, for me. I'm happy. Now I'm going to do the water while I think about what colour to do the building. So I'm going to start by grabbing this one, which is number 37. And I'm going to do... Right, I'm back, having been on the telephone. I did notice that this was slightly squiffy, which is uh, might be a bit... Um, off putting for you guys. Right, I'm going to start with these sort of rounded bits, and I'm sure I told you the pencil number 37, but just in case I didn't. And I'm going to put a darker application of colour at the bottom of each one and then lighten it up towards the top. And I'm going to do the same on all of these little. Uh, I don't really know what to call them. Semicircle shapes? Maybe that's what they are. There we go. I just 
just also got very distracted by Facebook when uh, I was on the telephone and then I went and looked at my computer um, and this one and uh, yeah I get really distracted answering comments and seeing pictures people have posted I'm going to do this one here in a similar way with a darker bit here and a lighter bit up here and the same with this bit now the background on this page I'm actually going to leave for now I've got this idea of doing a sort of rainbow coloured background but until I colour all of the different motifs I'm not going to be quite sure as to which colours to use for which um, you know because I did think I could do a relevant colour background but we've got a fish and a boat so they both need to be blue or greeny blue sea colour I'm going to do these as well and then we've got a um, a house and a butterfly and a tree and an air balloon so they'd all be and a mushroom they'd all sort of be sky so I thought we'd end up with lots of backgrounds looking really similar so I decided instead there are nine different pictures I think on this page I counted them but I'm not confident in my counting ability <laughs> um, so I thought maybe I could choose nine rainbow colors you know we could do red orange yellow green blue but also maybe a purple and a pink something like that um i think that's done for that and then we've got these swirly ones to do and i'm going to use a different shade of blue i'm going to use this one which is the number three i might use several shades i'm not sure i'm going to do a harder bit on each end so quite quite dark here and then start to fade it towards the middle of this swirl I'm not sure what it is and then I'm gonna go from this end so anyway so that was my idea for background and maybe to just do a bit around the edge and then lighten it towards the center so we have a sort of almost white glow around each item something that um I think Johanna was talking about in one of her lives that I thought was an interesting idea. So that might be something I, that's the idea that's in my head at the minute. But I really have to um, finish doing all the little pictures first to see what works with what. Because it might be that one is really red, or let's say, like the mushroom perhaps. And then it wouldn't necessarily look good with a red background. I've got a little fleck in there, it doesn't want to colour. There we go, that's that one. And I'm going to do harder here and lighten it here, but I want it harder here as well. Like that. There we go. And we've got, I think I'm going to treat these two as two separate bits. So I'm going to do a dark bit here. I've also been thinking while I was on the telephone um, about what colour to do this building and I didn't really um, come up with any ideas um, and I think I'm going to do it a sort of you know sorry I'm concentrating so dark at either end and light in the middle there we go. Now you could do little white dots to indicate um, splashing and things like that. I'm not going to do that for now. What I think I might do is leave it. I feel that if you start putting white dots in one part of a picture, you have to put it through all of it to make it sort of even. And I don't know if I want white dots in the rest. So uh, I'm not going to do that. So the, this building, I'm deciding I'm going to do it pink and purple. I know it isn't what it should be, but... I just think it'll look pretty and why not just make it look pretty so I'm going to do a purple roof so this is number six it actually does look purple in this light maybe this light's going to work uh, when I edit the video I'll be able to see whether it's worked or not so I'm going to put a, a dark layer here and reduce the pressure and layers towards the centre so I want a lighter bit in the middle let's see dark a bit along here I just had some work in as well you know I'd said 
in a previous video, which you may or may know, that I'd, my work had ended. It was lovely to have a break. I've just been sent some more, which in a way is really lovely because I know that I'll have some money coming in. And uh, that also that uh, my em employer still likes me, but uh, this is always reassuring. Sorry, I'm going in with a light coating here because it's quite thin. I talk about coating as if it's paint. Anyway, but uh, so I'm feeling a bit rushed because I've got to get over and do some research. I've got to write about golf, which I used to write about quite a lot. I don't, I've never played golf. Well, once I think I've played golf, so I know very little about it. I used to write about it quite a bit for a company I used to sell. I can't remember whether they what they actually sold but we used to write a lot of golf articles so I'm sure it'll all come flooding back but I have to go and do some research now that doesn't look very even I think I'm just going to make it one hard bit because I can't get it even there we go now the pink I'm going to go with this really bright um, pink which is the number 61 for these bits Firstly, I'm going to go that way to just try and get the edge a bit darker. So I'm going to follow the same pattern in that I'm going to have it darker here and then lighter in the middle and darker here. I think it just makes it look a bit more interesting. And here, so darker here and lighter here. I'm sorry, I'm trying not to rush. I've just got, you know, when there's work there, sitting there waiting, it makes me feel a bit got to be doing that but, uh, so these I'm just going to do dark because I feel like it's a sort of a shadow or a, it's not a shadow I'm trying to say I feel like it's like the inside of the arch and I think we can see through these so I'm not going to color those but this rest of this building I'm going to do a slightly lighter pink so I'm going to grab my number 20 now I'm going to keep with the same lighter down the middle. I think I'm just going to go with a gentle covering all over first so I can see what I'm doing. I'm quite pleased with this colour. It's a bit unusual but I'm thinking you know I've got other buildings, I've got a hot air balloon to do as well. It's a lovely page. I normally I don't colour this bit of the um, cover of the books at all but uh, sometimes it's a repeat of what's inside, so I've sort of already done it. But uh, this one isn't, as far as I can tell. It's so pretty that I just wanted to colour it. There we go. Let me keep it pushed down or else it goes weird and squiffy. So I'm going to leave that there, and uh, I haven't decided what I'm going to do for this bit all around the edge. It's tempting to just fill it in with a gold or silver pen. It'll be quite easy then, maybe silver. And then I've got these background bits to think about as well. But I'm going to leave that there. And I'll probably do a few of the other ones um, for videos as well at some point. But I've got to finish now and go to work. So uh, thank you very much for watching. Happy colouring. And, uh, and hopefully see you soon.